Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Just In Case. So this week, special episode, we're actually going to be playing D&D with some of our best friends, Tyler, Jasmine, and little baby Lachlan, off in the corner. So tell us what we're doing, Tyler. Okay. Give us the spiel. So, um, we are actually playing a free one-shot campaign that somebody posted online. Um, called Wild Sheep Chase. Okay, um, I just found it on DM's Guild. Uh, I did modify it greatly because I had to. I heard I had to plan for the fact that maybe people don't follow the rules. So, <laughs> so um, that's what we're going to be playing today. That's why I need a cotton ball. Sheep. So, um, thanks. <laughs> Uh, let's hurry and tell everybody what we are, who our character is, and uh, Cody, you go ahead and go first. Alright, so my name is Cody, and we'll be playing the character Valrora. I'm going to be a halfling cleric, just a little uh, homeless boy, met up with all my buddies. We're going to go on adventures together, so. Awesome, okay, I'm Jasmine, my character is Evelina, she's an elf shadow monk, and comes from nobility. Nice. Cool. Uh, my name is Shane. I'll actually be playing the character Tim Barr. For two A's. <laughs> it's really specific. I'm going to be a bard and I'm actually like a fur ball. Yeah. So a giant can... bear person. <laughs> Lots of fur. Really cuddly once you get to know <laughs> Alright. I'm Sean. As you guys all know, I'm going to be playing the character Vahori, which ironically is my uh, username for PC gaming as well as Xbox, so if you guys want to play with me, look me up. But <laughs> I'm going to be a rogue dragonborn, and uh, fun fact, my biggest flaw is that I am too handsome. So, <laughs> that's stop, stop. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Okay, so, you, a group of adventurers that has not been named yet, find yourselves in the town of Amit's Field. This is a quiet village near the southern border of the old Turish kingdom. You sit on the patio of the Minstrel and Flagon, which is this inn, this big wall here. That's, and there's your patio here at the table. Okay. I'm fancy. Okay. Um, you are sharing a well-earned meal after a few weeks of adventuring in the nearby Cossid Hills. The sound of music and conversation drifts out of the inn, doing little to disturb your peaceful feast, but. The sounds of the inn suddenly grow louder as the door nearest your table swings open. You are greeted by the sight of a rotund halfling. His jovial smile grows brighter as he catches sight of the bounty your table holds, and he immediately waddles up. Well met, adventurers! The name's Egar Pike! Mind if I join you? No. <laughs> Seriously, no, 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 please! You guys look like you have stories to tell, and I love stories. Yeah. I'll, I'll pay you for them. No, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, you see, you see, he, he's definitely looking. He's looking at the big turkey on your table. He's like, why'd you put it at me? <laughs> <laughs> so he edges up to your table and he reaches out a hand while saying, you know, I'm very good company reaching for a turkey leg. I smack his hand. You smack his hand. So you smack his hand out of the way. He's like, Wah! you very inhospitable. Can I insight check to see what this guy's deal is? Yeah, for sure. Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> it's a hard seven. <laughs> okay, with your seven, you know this guy is reaching for a turkey leg and he seems to want it. That's what you know about. <laughs> Can I take the turkey leg and take a bite out of it? Yeah, she slaps the hand away. You take the turkey leg and take a bite out of it. <laughs> you see, he looks at you. There's like physical pain that he feels as you take the first bite. He's like, ah, um, <clears throat> fine. I guess. You guys don't want to trade stories. I, I will be seeing you later. Then he walks off. Doubt it. Sounds like old <laughs> so. Oh yeah, that was kind of a. <laughs> okay. Um, so as he walks away, um, he goes bustling back into the end, quite perturbed. And as he pushes the door open, he suddenly squeals because something comes pushing past him. You see a sheep pushes out of the inn past him while bleating crazy like wee, wee, and comes running up from inside from the inn. inside the inn comes like running up full speed up to your table bounces into your table wiggling your food and tipping over some drinks and then stops and turns towards Timbar you look this looks to be a completely normal sheep wee, wee, 
but it's bleeding at you like absolutely crazy and hanging from a little like cord on its neck. There's a scroll. Well, first thing, I grab my pet chinchilla for comfort <laughs> because I don't like sheep. They scare me. So I'm going to tell somebody else to grab that scroll. Can I pet the sheep with magic hand and then also grab the scroll? Absolutely. Great. Easily. I would love to pet that sheep. So the sheep, as you pet the sheep, seems to like the petting but doesn't know where it's coming from. And um, the rope. You grab the scroll. <laughs> so, you grab the scroll and you can see that it is sealed with some sort of a magic seal. Generally, what you, when you see something like this, this is a magic scroll, which means you can open it and read it, destroying the scroll in the process, but it lets you cast a spell once, okay? So I don't need to use detect magic on this. This is already good. You, just looking at it, you know it's magic. You, you've been around magic enough to know what's going on. So, are you smart enough to read? <laughs> I think my intelligence is actually like zero. Is it zero? Am I reading that? No, right? what's, what's the score? Yeah. What's the score? 11. 11. 11. So, the average so you're human, slightly above average, average human is 10. Like, I'm 14. Okay. <laughs> so, you see the scroll, the looking at yeah. the scroll, you don't know quite what kind of a scroll it is, and somebody's going to have to make an arcana check to be able to decipher what kind of a scroll it is, or you guys can just open it and read it and hope something good happens. Does anyone even have arcana? I have religion. And detect magic, but that's about it. I'll try. Anybody with high intelligence can roll an arcana check. Anybody with any intelligence can roll. 17. You know what it is. Six. So looking at it, you recognize the script, you recognize the seal. This is a scroll of speak with animals. Hmm. We should probably speak with that sheep. Um, and that's my chinchilla. Don't, don't you have colors. the skill of like being good with animals? No, you do. Oh, I do. Your yeah. entire thing is animals, you can't understand what they're saying, but World animals class and better. plants <laughs> can understand your speech. And you're better at convincing them to do things. You are the sheep whisper. <laughs> no. Trade you two sheeps for one lumber. <laughs> um, okay, so I read it and then I get a spell, right? You read it and it automatically casts the spell speak with animals if you read it. Okay, I'm good doing that, right? Yeah. Everybody yeah. okay with you do it? Okay, yeah. we're going to have a conversation that everybody can hear, but you are the only one who is getting the benefits of speaking. Better not be a Dr. So, curse. So. Hold on, you need to read the spell first. Just say a spell. Yeah, read the spell. <laughs> oh. You have the scroll, read Go. it. Oh. Ba ram you. <laughs> Remember that? That's a very good spell. What's that even do? It's from Warcraft. You click on a sheet uh, a ton of times and it would blow up. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yep. Okay. So you can't just spell. Like Speak with animals, so you, you guys can't understand the sheep, but you immediately recognize this crazed bleeding is not crazed bleeding, but it is an actual <laughs> What? Thank business! You can hear me! What? What's your name, adventurer? Timbar. My, my name's Finithar Shinebright. Bright! Sorry, I need to say that properly. I'm a sheep. Do you get it? Yeah. You get what I'm doing here? <laughs> Okay, I'm following. <laughs> uh, you, you guys look like strong adventurers. Do you think you can help me? Yeah, what's, what's your saying? We just hear Bob. Oh, he wants help. <laughs> he wants help. You can hear that. Yeah! <laughs> what's help? Yes, yes, I need help. You see, I'm not actually a sheep. I'm an elf. A wizard. But you see, I, I've been turned into a sheep by my previous apprentice. The sheep is obnoxious. What's he saying? <laughs> so Give yeah, it a second. I'll stop bleeding a lot. Get, <laughs> I hear this. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I'll get the story from him. Then we'll get you an update. Okay. I, I, can, I can pay you in lots of gold or women or fine wines. Whatever, whatever you need. Okay. So, you say okay, and as you start to say okay, the door to the inn bursts open again. You see walking towards you an intimidating and angry looking half orc. And the moment the half orc shows up, the sheep goes running over across that bridge and hides on the other side of that little stream. So we started out on this very nice patio and like we had a really nice lunch going on. We had a whole turkey to our little group of friends. Anyways, there's like this freaking annoying like halfling dude that came in. He tried taking our food, so Jasmine just slapped the crap out of him. I ate the food in front of him. He left. Then after he left, random sheep came in, and Shane's character, Timbar, 
Luckily enough, I started talking to him because sheep love him. And I don't know what really happened in that part. Then a half orc came in, we decided, hey, out of the sheep and the half orc, like, screw orcs. So we uh, took the side of the sheep, got into a scuffle. Oh, it's bad, bad, bad scuffle. Vahuri? How do I say yeah, that? Yeah, Vahuri. Vahuri. I'm gonna turn on those wolves. Okay. And I'm gonna uh, splatter shot them with my acid breath. So is your acid breath a line or a cone? Uh, let's see. It's a it's a line. So, so a line only is one. One square wide, six squares long. So if you wanted to hit all of them, you'd have to be to either side of them like that. And that looks if, like it's too far for me to move, right? It, I mean, you, you want go right to, over the table, right? If you went right over the table with a good acrobatics check, you could slide up. You'd have to take another acrobatics check to get over the wall well, but that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, which is the perfect amount of distance you can move in. What if he was... Let's do it, because I'm proficient in acrobatics. Okay, so we will just do one one acrobatics check with a higher DC to try and acrobatically move your way across the battlefield. 20. It's over 9,000! You know, you know the guys in music videos who slide across the top of a Lamborghini or something? <laughs> you slide across the top of the table, you seem to float over the wall, you land in a cool Iron Man crouch, yeah. acid dripping out of your mouth, ready to go. Okay, <laughs> so you yeah, unleash an acid blast so on them? Yes. Okay, so they get a dexterity save. Okay. Um, wolf number one fails, wolf number two fails, wolf number three passes. So the wolf furthest from you okay. takes half damage, but the rest of them take full damage. So, uh, once we got into this scuffle, uh, everybody kind of went their separate ways. I was gonna spit acid on this guy because I'm dragonborn, but of course, everybody ran in front of me so I couldn't do it. But uh, right at the last minute, these wolves showed up and I was like, well, oh, that's an opportunity. So, uh, I did some freaking awesome acrobatics and slid across a couple tables, jumped over a half wall, and uh, spit some acid on, on these wolves that were trying to kill us. And uh, yeah, I, I guess I learned when I did that that there were bears on the other side of the wall <laughs> that were ready to kill me. Uh, but I did set my chinchilla freak as I knew he didn't stand a chance in battle. And uh, I found out that all of these people were not actually animals, they were people. And so, yeah, I think I was very uh, beneficial to the group. As the battle went on, uh, my acrobatics were on point, and I did the best acrobatics out of anybody in this entire game. It's up to you, because we're all in trouble at this point. <laughs> You're really not in trouble. There's enemies here, there's enemies there, and you're just like, if you want to run, run into out the, the end away. Seriously, so if I, would I want to move away from these guys or get another okay. table in between us? As a, okay, so, as a, so, <laughs> wait, now. All right, so I was Tim Barr in that last little engagement thing, and uh, obviously, like, I'm a giant but I don't have any health or strength. Like I'm really fragile boned and everything. So a lot of times you guys saw me like running away from battle. Um, didn't feel like I contributed a whole lot. I could talk to the sheep, which was really good. Everybody else bailed on me and I got stuck with like two bears and a bad guy. I was able to turn invisible and flee the battle. So, yeah, it ended up turning up okay. I was the only one who didn't take any damage that battle for how much I ran away from everything that tried touching me. Other than that, it was fun. Do I have dark vision or only if you I You have dark vision. vision. Okay. Up to 30 feet, you can cast the dark vision spell and have it up to 60 feet. So as you enter, you see, as far as you can tell for the 30 feet that you can see, it is a dark tunnel with water running through it. Not awesome. anything too exciting. Okay, level Aurora, what are you gonna do? Um. So, is it going to be a strength for like swimming and whatnot? To stay above the water, yeah. Okay. I'm going to cast Enhance Ability, so you just see me get hella swole. <laughs> ben swole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just run in, jump, swim down. The wolf is going to attempt attack of opportunity against That's you fine. as you escape. Well, my experience playing D&D today was a lot of feeding babies and changing poopy diapers and getting three crit fills in a row. So. <laughs> but it was pretty good. Um, so you cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter? Yeah. Okay. So if it doesn't succeed, you have given him an attack of opportunity to like stab you. 
That's fine. So he gets to make a wisdom saving throw to try and beat your 14, and he rolls another. Yay. So, suddenly, he's like, <laughs> and then he like uh, falls, rolls into the river, he's like, <laughs> foaming and stuff, and you're free to do what you want. As he, you can put him four spaces down the river if you want. Okay. Good job. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just use invisibility. Or, yeah. Yeah, use invisibility. Okay. And then can I move at, after that, after I'm invisible? Mm-hmm. You've used and your action like, and your bonus action. He can move four, right? And he can move four, and then he can move, use his move to move six more spaces. And then on the next turn, he'll catch up to you guys. So I actually had a lot of fun with that one. I don't usually run pre-built modules like that but I was impressed with how it ran and how well, even though I had heard stories that maybe none of these people would follow the actual preset rules, everybody pretty much did. There was a moment where I thought, these guys are gonna side with the orc, who is obviously the bad guy. And they didn't, which I am thankful for. But um, I actually had a lot of fun. I liked how creative everyone was and what they were doing, like escaping down the river and stuff. I hadn't even thought about that beforehand. I had lots of fun. Um, I apologize sincerely. Um, I didn't have chances to practice voices beforehand because I never do, and I didn't realize Finithar was going to be so friggin' annoying. Hey. So, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> this session, our friends got approached by a sheep, and then um, approached by a dude looking for a sheep, and they got into a large scuffle and almost died, and then they escaped from the large scuffle, and they only killed one of their enemies, which was pretty weak. That's a joke. They did really well. <laughs> I killed them. I would like to say I did the most damage and the best acrobatics out of the whole team. But yeah, so that is the entire video for the day. Okay guys, well thank you for watching our uh, Dungeons and Dragons session today. If you guys want to see more or see what happens next, let us know down in the comments and we might make some more videos like this. Um, I just want to give a shout out to my buddies who started a podcast called Nerds From Nowhere. Uh, it's pretty interesting, so go check them out. I believe they're on uh, iTunes or the Google Play Store or Stitcher or wherever you want to listen to them. Uh, but anyways guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, liking this video. And as always, bring you guys some more awesome content. Woo!